was so good. <laughs> the ending made me cry. Everything was beautiful. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for any of that. Oh my god. It has been a long time since a movie has made me cry. Oh god. I probably look horrible right now. But <laughs> I don't care. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. Ah, oh, sugar, why? Why have you done this to me? Steve and Greg's fusion made me literally scream. And Orpo made me scream. And, uh... Oh god. Oh my god, um... I genuinely worried Greg was going to die. I genuinely worried Stephen... Well, I knew Stephen wasn't going to die, but at one point it really looked like he was going to die. I freaked out when the gems reset. And I freaked out when they came back. And Sapphire saved Ruby. That was so cute. Because Ruby saved Sapphire before. And... She changed fate, but then Sapphire changed fate this time, and, and now Garnet's back. And oh my god. Everything was so great. Oh, and the music. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't get over how good that music was. And Spinel, oh my god. Oh my god, Spinel, I love her so much. She was the villain, then not the villain, and she was the villain again. She just she just wanted to be your best friend. And now she can go back to the palace with the diamonds and they can adore her and ah, I love her so much. Oh my god. I am, I am breathtaking. So much happened. I was, I was not ready for what happened. I thought I was ready for Spinel and I really wasn't. Because I got like, the very, very Base, general vague basics of her backstory spoiled for me before I started the film but even that didn't prepare me like nothing could prepare me for that backstory and her pain oh my poor baby I love her I love her when she's sweet and good and I love her when she's bad I just love her all the time Oh my god. Steven, he did so good. He did so much good. And I was worried because I knew that, um, I knew that, um, Steven wasn't gonna, like, keep Spinel as the villain. I knew that he was just gonna, like, talk things through with her. And I was kind of worried about that. Because everyone's being wanting like a purely irredeemable villain. And I have as well, but like no, I think Spinel was redeemed really nicely. I'm 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 happy about the way they approached that. So I thought I was gonna be disappointed because I knew Spinel was gonna be redeemed anyway, but I wasn't. Like even the redemption was done right. Like maybe in the later episodes we'll get an irredeemable villain at some point because Stephen can't just keep talking and singing his way through his problems like um like he has done with every villain ever uh on you know, until Jasper. 
That is one thing I was disappointed about in the movie, that Jasper wasn't in it at all. Um, I'm quite sad about that. And um, well, hopefully season six will be dedicated to to redeeming Jasper. Because I, I want Jasper to be redeemed, but like not fully, in a way, if that makes sense. I don't know. But um, I'm disappointed that she wasn't in the movie at all. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the only problem I had with it, to be honest. Because I, I, I was worried about the simplicity of how, like, Stephen resolved things with Spinel. I was like, oh, well, that was resolved rather simply. But then, like, then there was the whole misunderstanding after that that she, and she thought he was going to use her. And then she put the injector back into the earth. And, oh, my God. Like, I got quite statistically happy about that because I was like oh yes finally like um I mean like Lapis joked on earlier in the in the film like uh, well Lapis and Peridot joked on in the film they were like wow that was fast when Spinel got reset uh ov obviously that's different like she was reset but like they said earlier with the joke like wow she changed fast uh, like, I was worried that was the case when he first talked things out with her, but then it wasn't, and then he had to talk even further with her. It took more than just a simple conversation, and I'm I'm glad about that. And I know some people will be disappointed that that Spinel got redeemed through talking, but I mean, it, it did take a bit of fighting and talking at the same time, so I'm glad about that. That fight was amazing, by the way. And... That whole scene of Stephen getting his power rules back, uh, 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 realising that the reason he became who he was was because he learned and he changed. And that moment when he got his powers back, that was beautiful. That was quite possibly my favourite scene. Like, de you know what? Definitely. That, <clears throat> that, mo that moment of... Redemption for Stephen, where Spinel was insulting him, like, this is how you started out. And then he realised where he came from, where he is now, and got his powers. Look, look at my boy. Look at my boy. I'm so proud of him. I am so, so proud of this good bean. I love him so much. <clears throat> He still hasn't come out of the box yet, and I don't want him to until hopefully someday I get to meet Zach Callis and get him to sign that box. That would be a dream come true. Oh my god, meeting the cast, meeting anyone involved in Steven Universe, that would be a dream come true. And to those involved with Steven Universe and making the movie, thank you so much for making that movie. It was, oh, it was incredible. It was so beautiful and... I was genuinely crying at the beginning of this video, by the way. That that wasn't put on. I just can't fake cry. That's just not something I can bring myself to do. I've been acting for years and I still can't do it successfully. But no, that was me genuinely crying like an ugly baby because I'd just finished watching the final song and the, like the the credits and stuff i'd literally just start this video as i was crying during the end and i was like oh my god that was oh it was beautiful and oh my god steven and connie kissed oh my rtp is coming true like i don't know if that one kiss made them canon i don't i don't know if they're officially in a relationship as of that movie I'd like to think so, but, um, oh, I'm so proud of all of them. I'm so proud of the character development. Paradox joke on character development earlier. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God, I almost touched that thing. I would have lost all my character development. Oh, my God. That, that wasn't my best Paradox attempt. I can't do a Paradox attempt right now because I've just finished blubbering. But, oh, my God, the humor was... 
it was it was seasoned perfectly and I'm not gonna say the movie is perfect by any means. There is no such thing as a perfect movie, but that's as close to perfect as it can be. I would have liked to see Jasper in there, but um hey, it was it was better than I expected. It was really good. I'd give that a solid nine point five out of ten. And oh my god, I'm still not I still haven't fully recovered from all the screaming because I screamed when the gems reset and when Stephen and Greg fused that was completely unexpected like I uh, I, uh, I I'm about to run out of video space so I'll stop talking about it now but that movie was beautiful voice acting animation everything it was flawless thank you so much Stephen Universe crew I love you all so much and your movie Mwah. thank you have a good day. Bye.